preparations for mass mine clearance to advance Western troops quickly and safely. It is the first stage before a ground attack of infantry and tanks. A few hours ago, DPR representatives said that the information had found that units of the armed forces of Ukraine had deployed at least 10 new R-77 demining facilities in the area of Shyarkino settlement. This indicates the intentions of the Ukrainian armed forces to make a significant breakthrough in this direction to possibly cut off the territory of the self-proclaimed Donetsk People's Republic from the Sea of Azov. The data on this topic are expressed by the news project, War Gonzo. It is noteworthy that foreign mercenaries were seen among the armed forces of Ukraine units, which confirms the previously announced information that the latter arrived in Donbas to carry out hostilities or launch a provocation against the Russians. A column of ten mining facilities, the army calls them Erks or Gornich, accompanied by four Hummers, was seen between Mariupol and Shyarkino. Such facilities are used to clear minefields and prepare corridors to pass armored vehicles through them. This is done with the apparent goal of breaking the forehead. In a word, the WAF is either planning something in the south or trying to divert attention from the main direction of the attack. It is noteworthy that Gorinich was accompanied by Hummers. According to eyewitnesses, there were foreign soldiers in the armor, reports the telegram channel of the news channel War Gonzo. Currently, the GDR forces are closely monitoring the situation, however, this direction is considered an area of weak defense. Still, in an invasion of the Ukrainian armed forces and foreign mercenaries, Russian warships will be ready to support the militia. Russia is on alert for a possible attack. Please pray for world peace. If you like the video, and want to contribute financially to my effort, you can make a small contribution, by clicking, on the link below.